Okay, we're live right now, you guys. Day one of the Medical Medium Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse Challenge. We're doing it. This is it. I got all my stuff. You guys got all your stuff. I got the celery. I got the cilantro right there. I got the Vimergy spirulina, Vimergy barley grass juice powder. I got the wild blueberries here. I even have the Wyman's wild blueberry juice. I got apples. I got lemons. I got oranges. I got dulse. We're rigged right here. People with crippling anxiety, panicking anxiety they have, and depression, depersonalization, bipolar, OCD, tics, spasms, Tourette's, ADHD, autism, right? And then memory loss and brain fog, that's just to name a few when it comes down to toxic heavy metals. I'm excited. This is day one of the Heavy Metal Detox Challenge Cleanse. It matters because it's about getting metals out of us, you guys. Mercury, aluminum, cadmium, lead, arsenic, you name it. Everybody has it in them. Copper, they got it in them and it's sitting in our brains. That's where it sits. And then if you've got toxic heavy metals, toxic heavy metals plus viruses, you've got the neurological line, you've got the Hashimoto's thyroiditis, you got the MACFS, you got the autoimmune, you got the RA, you got all the different autoimmune conditions, right? Because metals play a role there. This is a big day. I'm glad we're live. Facebook, YouTube, we're live on TikTok, we're live on Clubhouse. Sorry about the tech problem. We're here. I'm excited, you guys. I got my celery right here. I got the cilantro. I got the bananas. I got the mangoes. I got the lemons. I'm excited. So you guys, how are, how is everybody doing? You're, you're doing your heavy metal detox cleanse, your day one. I'm pumped up. So excited, excited, excited. This is incredible, really. So look, you guys, metals are in the way of a lot of people's lives. They shape how they think. Metals take over. They actually are like an alien in someone's brain. They make people make decisions that people wouldn't even make in their life. Did you know that? Metals, when they're inside the brain, can control people. Control people. Metals inside our brain can control us. That's something you haven't heard, right? Metals inside the brain can trip us up. Make us say things we don't want to say in times of our life. Metals in our brain can throw us off our game in our life. That's what they can do. They can give us diagnoses that are brain related. They can cause us problems. They can give us brain fog. They can take us off our game, like I said, of life, right? And so metals do some things with people. They do. They can get people depressed when they're not supposed to be depressed, sad when they're not supposed to be sad, right? Think about someone who spent years with severe depression. Think about that. Severe depression because the metals inside the brain are creating that situation. So think about how that shapes someone's life, right? Toxic heavy metals inside the brain and brain stem shaping someone's life into something that they may not have wanted to be or something that was happening. Severe depression, crippling panic and anxiety for years. That too, right? So this is important. This is so critical to get metals out of us so we can live free because you can't live free. Metals do shape things that we may not want shaped in the way they become shaped. And we don't like that. We want our lives free. We want to be free of this toxic heavy metal problem that everybody's got. And where do you get metals? You get them from all kinds of places. You guys, so I'm excited. Let's do some lemon water. Okay. This is a great, great day. I'm pumped up. We got some lemons right here. Almost lost that one. Why do I like to throw things in the air? <laughs> Let's do this, okay? So, I'm gonna get some water in this glass right now. So I'm excited. You guys, we're day one of the Medical Medium Heavy Metal Detox Challenge. I hope you guys are doing it with me. Do you have the book? Critical. Do you have the book? If today you didn't start, but you're coming on here live and you're wondering what is he doing, what's happening, and you don't have the book, make sure you get it. Amazon.com US, 51% off right now. It's $16.99. 
It's an incredible price, costs more to print the book. So this is Cleanse to Heal, page 179 is the Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse. It's in here. This is a book saving lives around the world. Make sure you have this book in your hand. You can go to your bookstores, wherever you need, but this book is critical right here. Important, you guys on Clubhouse, do you have Cleanse to Heal? You guys on TikTok, do you have Cleanse to Heal? So we're gonna do the 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water. I'm going with 32 ounces. Lemon water, why? Why lemon water? Lemon is a cleanser. Cleanser, that's what it is, okay? It's hydrating on a deep cellular level. Hydrating, you guys, on a deep cellular, cellular level. So important to know, okay? Do not use hot water. You can use warm water. Don't use hot water. You kill the activity that occurs with lemon when it's living. This is a living water right here inside this lemon, okay? It's calcium rich, it's alkalizing. This is, an, a re, this is a really important thing to do, but you don't want this hot. Now, of course you can have a cup of tea tonight. You can have a cup of herbal tea. You can put lemon in there, it could be hot. That's fine, but this is about cleansing, and this is about flushing, and this is about hydrating. 16 to 32 ounces. Empty stomach upon waking is a great time to do it, by the way, okay? Cool. Not just eight ounces. <laughs> Not just six ounces of lemon water. I mean, if you have to, and that's just what you feel like you all you can do, that that's what you do then, okay? But, but if you can, you want more. You want to get it up there to 16 to 32 ounces, you guys. That's what you want to do. You like your lemon water daily? Amazing. So right there, 16 to 32 ounces, lemon water in my hand. The beginning of the Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse Challenge. This is day one. I'm excited for you guys. You're empowering yourselves. You guys are truly empowering yourselves. There's a difference when you do things like this because what's happening here is you're taking out something out of your body that's foreign. It's a foreign invader. You're not supposed to naturally have toxic heavy metals interfering with your life, accelerating disease as you get older. You're not supposed to have that. That's, that's literally like having some kind of alien inside your body. That's what toxic heavy metals are. And the industries, they, they make sure you get plenty of those toxic heavy metals, okay? And so you want to take control. You want to empower yourself. And that's what you do when you're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse. If you guys just came on here, I'm just reminding you right now, you got to have the book so you can learn the details matter. It's so important. Millions of people around the world are doing the heavy metal detox smoothie every single day or the heavy metal detox cleanse. They're, they've learned how to heal. They're doing it every day. They got the cleanse to heal book and they're taking metals out of their body. Got to have the information page 179 and cleanse to heal the heavy metal detox cleanse. So important right there, okay? So make sure you grab a book when you can. Don't, don't say, well, someday I'll get the book. You know, someday, well, someday I'll heal, right? Someday I'll do something. Someday I'll get the book. Maybe someday, whatever, I'll procrastinate and just, yeah, I'll get the book a couple years from now. <laughs> let's, let's work on healing, it's important. There's a question right there. What is the heavy metal detox? Smoothie, is that the question? Gonna make it pretty soon. What is HMDS? We're getting there. So wait 15 to 30 minutes after your lemon water and we move on to the next part. I'm gonna cap my lemon water right now, if you guys don't mind. Okay, we move on to the next part. What do I have right here? I got some celery, right? Move these over. Some celery here. We're gonna do some celery juice really quick. We're gonna knock it right out. Get pumped up, I'm excited. Let's get a little celery juice going. <laughs> Right? Boom. Next, 16 to 32 ounces of celery juice, TikTok. Yep, that's next. You're preparing to remove the metals. That's what you're doing. You don't think you got metals in you? 
think I hear that. I hear a few people saying, I don't have any toxic heavy metals in me. And you're wrong, you do. You do have toxic heavy metals, everyone does. We're born with them, they're passed on from our family. They're passed on, sperm, egg, utero. Metals are passed on. By the way, that's how babies get birth defects. They get birth defects because of toxic heavy metals. That's what creates birth defects, okay? That's what creates problems. Toxic heavy metals cause these problems. Mercury being one of them. You guys encourage other people, share your stories. You know, hashtag medical medium. If you're on Instagram, also do, you know, tag at medical medium. Share your stories around the world. Share your, your uh, so I can share your posts, so I can see it and share your posts and your stories. I'd love to do that. Good to see you guys. We're in day one of the Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse Challenge, and it's free, which is actually exciting. Awesome. So I'm running some celery right now through the juicer because this is the second part. We did the lemon water. Now we're doing the celery. So you guys, not only tag at medical medium, but hashtag medical medium at the same time when you're doing your stories your, and your posts, because then I can see it if you do both. If you tag at medical medium and hashtag medical medium, I can see the stories and the posts. And then I can repost. We want to help others. We want other people to know how to heal. We want other people to learn. We want other people to get what they need in life. We want them to rid metals out of their body. So important. And so many of you guys have been doing the heavy metal detox smoothie for years. So many of you guys have been doing it for years. Many of you guys have been doing it for a long time. Heavy metal detox smoothie, heavy metal detox cleanse, right? You guys have been doing that for a while too. Today's day one. I'm extra excited. I am. So what you see in front of me, just so you know, you see spirulina. That's the Vimergy spirulina, it's the best one. It's the one that I trust. I don't trust Pacific spirulina anymore for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons I've talked about. It's terrible. And what you see is barley grass juice powder, not barley grass, right? It's the Vimergy stuff. I'm not sponsored by Vimergy, but the stuff's amazing, right? And then you also see some wild blueberries. These are frozen wild blueberries I defrosted, right? So those are frozen wild blueberries I defrosted. Now, if you can't find frozen wild blueberries to do this cleanse, then maybe grab another wild blueberry food. Like right here, that's the wild blueberry powder from Vimergy. So maybe grab a wild blueberry food, right? That's the Wyman's. By the way, um, the Wyman's juice is back in stock, which blows my mind because that, that, I've been praying it would come back to stock. And it's incredible, you know, there's a discount on cases. So when you get a case, you save more money too on top of it. So that's at shop.wyman's.com. Um, I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm excited about that. This is just such a great day. All right, so here we go. We got our celery juice right there. I'm gonna remove the juicer. Thank you for being patient, right? Remove that. How many ounces of celery juice do you guys do? Okay, you gotta strain the celery juice, right? Don't add anything, you guys know that. You guys know that, not to add anything. Don't put ice in there, don't add water. Don't do any of that. So no water, no ice, right? No apple cider vinegar, God forbid. That's a tragedy to actually add that in here. 
Okay. So we got our celery juice, 16 to 32 ounces of celery juice. That's the next part of the heavy metal detox cleanse. If you're sensitive and you, all this is a lot because you're really toxic. Your nerves are really sensitive from all those metals and all those pathogens. And you're somebody that's sick with all kinds of stuff going on. Maybe do a little bit of celery juice, four, eight ounces. Maybe do four, eight ounces of lemon water. Maybe do that. Maybe do four or eight ounces of the smoothie we're about to do. And then you build up and you build up and then you can feel like, whoa, I could do more. I could do more. You're getting the junk out. You're okay. You're okay. You can do more. You can do more. And it's incredible. So that's one way of doing it. You guys, so I have the celery juice right here. So 16 to 32 ounces of celery juice is a great thing. There's a question on TikTok right there. Why is adding water bad? Because you dilute the sodium cluster salts, the very thing that magically helps us heal. Celery juice is phytochemical compounds that have to stay uh, suspended in a living solution right here. You don't want to dilute it. You don't want to add anything. If you hear out there someone adding lemon to their celery juice, they just lost what celery juice does for them. They just lost it. Boom. They just lost it. Another thing too, don't do HPP. So when you go into the store and you see a celery juice that's in like a brand and the brand is in the cold section, you guys, of the store, the health food store, right? And it says fresh or just, not just juice, but it says fresh celery juice or something and it's in a bottle and it wasn't freshly juiced that day. Instead, it was manufactured, right? off an assembly line, okay? That's called high pressure pasteurization. You don't want that kind of celery juice. It doesn't work. High pressure pasteurization, which is HPP, that's a trick. So you just get full. What happens is in the health movement, everybody gets screwed over constantly. They don't know it. They, they throw away their money. They, get, they don't even know what's happening. They're buying HPP products. That's not fresh celery juice. Gotta make it fresh or a juice bar makes it fresh for you. <clears throat> and that's a different Story, because that's how you make it work. And then you might be somebody that says, hey, I did celery juice and it didn't work. It's like, well, you've been doing HPP. You've been adding lemon to it or you've been doing something else. You're not doing the way it's supposed to be. So we're day one, medical medium, heavy metal detox cleanse challenge. <clears throat> we're going through day one right now. I'm excited. What kind of juicer is that? That's the MM900 HDS. That's the one, it's a celery juicer model. It cuts your celery uh, cost literally almost in half. I've saved thousands of dollars with that juicer. It's the only juicer that pays for itself. So that's the MM900 HDS at omegajuicers.com if you're interested. I get asked that question all the time, all the time. But that's the specific one. If you don't get that one, it's not gonna do what it needs to do. So 15 to 30 minutes, right? Between, let's do a recap really quick. So we got the lemon water, okay? 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water, right there, empty stomach. Upon waking, what you're doing so you know you're preparing to remove metals. The lemon water hydrates. You have to be hydrated in order to get metals out efficiently. Critical, you guys. Have to be hydrated in order to get metals out efficiently. That's how it works. So you get the 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water. Wait 15 to 30 minutes and then you're off to getting your celery juice. Got to strain your celery juice. Can't add anything into, into it. Like I said, no water, no lemon, no nothing, no ice, no anything, no apple, no nothing. Then you got your celery juice. Once again, you're hydrating, but celery juice, the sodium cluster salt, starts to dislodge metals. Like it gets it prepped. It gets metals prepped. It helps to loosen them in their spaces and places, getting them ready for the heavy metal detox to help pull metals out. Important to know. Uh, someone said, I was doing it wrong a whole time. Oh my God, my God. Thank God you didn't write a post saying, medical medium doesn't work. Medical medium doesn't work and I'm gonna tell a whole bunch of people and then a whole bunch of newbies go, it doesn't work? Okay, I won't get the book. Oh, it doesn't work? Oh no, I won't get the book. I was about to buy the Cleanse Heal book. Who cares if millions of people have healed from it already around the world? I'm not gonna get that book. That person said it didn't work for them. So thank you for not doing that, amazing. I'm so glad. And I'm glad you're about to learn how to do it right so you can heal. You guys, just a little reminder, Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse is in Cleanse to Heal. It's on page 179. You gotta have the book. Not someday I'll get the book. Okay, someday you'll heal. 
Someday you'll get the right information. Uh, someday you'll know what the details are. Someday you'll like do it. Okay. All right. Someday. Okay. Amazon.com US 51% off $16.99 and get it at, get it at the library if you can find it there. I know there's a waiting list in the library so it might not be able to get it the second but that's that's the book right there. So we're heading into the next part. <laughs> Anybody's asking about kitchen tools or anything, just go to Medical Medium Directory, medicalmedium.com, check out the directory and you can see kitchen wares in there and see if there's something that that hits you. Um, okay, let's move along, you guys. We talked about hydration. We talked about the celery juice loosening the metals, those micro deposits those metal micro deposits, celery juice, getting them prepped and ready so they can be removed by the heavy metal detox smoothie, the next part of the cleanse, okay? So let's talk about that. Boom, the wild blueberry. That's the star of the heavy metal detox cleanse, heavy metal detox smoothie. No one knew the wild blueberry removes toxic heavy metals. No one knew about toxic heavy metals causing problems before Medical Medium's 35 year journey of teaching people and practitioners and healers and professionals and everybody else under the sun. But nobody knew what removes them. There's guessers out there that guess that chlorella might, but it doesn't. They guess that bentonite clay does, but it doesn't. They guess that charcoal might, but it doesn't. Those don't remove metals. So in order to get the, the benefits, in order to get the results you are looking for, for anxiety and depression, depersonalization, nervousness, OCD, bipolar, ADHD, autism, brain fog, Parkinson's, ALS, right? Dementia, memory loss, right? In order to get results from any of those and much more, you need to know a couple of things. You need to know how they're caused, toxic heavy metals, right? If you heard this before, it came originally from the medical medium books. It came originally from medical medium information. Toxic heavy metals are in the way. So wild blueberries are the star. That's the star here, you guys. That is the star. If you want, if you're interested in the medical medium books, that's Cleanse to Heal. The medical medium cleanse is in here, but Medical Medium New Edition is a critical book to get to. If you're somebody that's on a healing journey, you want both for sure. Heavy metal detox smoothies in here and plenty of different conditions to heal from. And here you go, the cleanse is in here, right? So why are wild blueberries the star? What do they do? What do they possess? They possess something that regular cultivated blueberries do not. So what you see here, okay, are tiny blueberries. Tiny blueberries, that's what they are. It's important to know, right? Tiny blueberries that have phytochemical compounds that remove toxic heavy metals. This is a powerful adaptogenic food right here in my hand. Truly one of the greatest adaptogenic foods we have on the planet, surviving thousands of years, okay, of environmental torture and surviving. These, they could be burned down to the ground and they can grow back. It's the only thing on the planet that can really do that. TikTok, Anthony, you've helped me. Anthony, you've helped me stop my, pro my progression of ALS. I've been doing this for a month. Thank God, incredible on TikTok. The thing is people don't believe ALS gets better, but it does. You can get ALS better, you can recover from ALS, you can reverse it and you can move on and heal, okay? Because I've done that 35 years when I, in my office and people being carried into the office with ALS. People traveling around the world coming to the office with ALS. And, and so it's really good. I'm so happy you're doing things. I'm so happy you're, you're stopping the progression of that condition. Proud of you. So proud. Of you. Don't even know what to say. Thank you for being here. So exciting. So the wild blueberry is the star, you guys. It does so much, right? So nutrition in the wild blueberry is understudied. So they don't even, they don't even have really the understanding of why the wild blueberry is so amazing. 
Cultivated blueberries are weak. They're still good for you, but they're weak. So the big cultivated blueberry in the store is actually a weakened version of this right here. This is the original. This is not just heirloom, but this is a wild food. And medical medium information is about wild foods, and it always was about wild foods. Medical medium information isn't fruits and vegetables. It's wild foods. That's something to know, and it's so important, okay? Susan says, the book has so much info that changes lives. You're really missing a lot if you don't have it. All of Anthony's books are valuable reference books that will help you stay healthy or regain health. Thank you for, Su thank you for Susan for saying that. Thank you for that. So let's get the blueberries in here. Blueberries can cross the blood-brain barrier when they're wild. Wild blueberries cross the blood-brain barrier. Important to know, right there. Cultivated blueberries don't cross the blood-brain barrier. Critical information right there to know, right? So let's scoop some in. We'll talk about wild blueberries a little bit more and a little bit more, right? So these are frozen wild blueberries right here. Can't do lemon water even a tiny amount. Do water in the morning if you can't do lemon water. Not even a tiny amount. Do regular water. That's okay. Let's do that, right? Or squeeze a tiny amount of lemon in your water if you can't do lemon. Now, you might, not, you might say you can't do lemon because you've been told by your dentist that it's bad for your teeth. Don't stop it because of that reason because that's not true. You might not do lemon because you think it's uh, acidic and it's bad for you. It's not true. It's alkaline. Lemon is alkaline. Pretty cool, right? You guys, this is about information, powerful information, important information. Two cups of wild blueberries. That's what we're doing in here, putting a little bit more. We should have that. Two cups of wild blueberries inside the smoothie. So we're gonna put this down, okay? Let's start putting the rest of this together. Bananas. Important to have the glucose. Now I got substitutions for people who are afraid of bananas or maybe they don't do good with bananas. There's somebody that might have allergic reaction to bananas, sure. It's, it's very possible, right? Now, with the wild blueberry, okay, let's just finish the wild blueberry information though, okay? I was gonna do it a little, add it a little later, but I'm gonna do it now, all right? So if you don't have frozen wild blueberries, then pick up a wild blueberry powder. That's the Vimergy wild blueberry powder, right? So that's one option because some people, they can't get the frozen wild blueberries depending on where they are around the world, but they can get the Vimergy wild blueberry powder. So that's the best one right there that I use, okay? So I, what I do anyways, I put a little in anyway with the frozen wild blueberries. So I'm gonna put some of that in. That's right there. I call that gold, right? Got that right there. I also put the Wyman's juice. They got a new stock and you guys know I work with Wyman's, right? I'm making sure this product stays alive, stays out there um, because people don't realize what it takes to harvest wild blueberries and then actually squeeze it down to a juice. It's an incredible process. It's an incredible process. So I actually support uh, Wyman's 100% with this juice. It's, and it's an incredible product. You're, if you're ever interested, it's shop dot wyman's.com they have it there i buy it by the case you get like 13 percent discount off of each bottle when it's that way so i put about two ounces in here right two to four out like if you don't have wild blueberry frozen wild blueberries you could do two to four ounces of this in the smoothie you can do that i just throw two ounces in with my wild blueberries and my vimergy powder but you know the blueberry powder right but the point is is you can do um, you can do two to four ounces of this, no problem, if that's all you have, is this. So it's good to find other options in case you don't have the frozen wild blueberries. So here we go, we got that covered. Let's go into banana land. Two bananas, right? One banana down, do another. We're talking about glucose right here, right now. Glucose carries the properties 
in the wild blueberry and the properties in the rest of, of um, the smoothie that we're going to talk about carries the properties. The glucose carries to enter the cells. If someone's on like no carb, no sugar from fruit, I'm scared of all that, then how are you going to get the metals out? Because glucose is what carries every nutrient into a cell. Do you know how you can age really fast? You want to age really quick? Don't eat any fruit. Don't ever eat any potato. Don't have any kind of critical clean carbohydrate. That's what I call medical medium um, in, in the books, critical clean carbohydrates. Don't have any of that. Be afraid of that completely. Just do some vegetables and some animal protein or some vegetables and nuts or whatever. If you know people do and, and they like stay with that whole thing where they, they're afraid of sugar and you will age so fast down the line because you need the glucose to carry the nutrients in. So now, if you're afraid of banana, I got alternatives right here, okay? I got mango. I'll crack one of these open, right? So I got mango. That's an alternative. Papaya is another one. So I'll have to get that out in a little bit, but I got the mango. And you can do frozen mango. So that's an option too, just putting frozen mango in here. That's okay if you do that. If you guys just got on here, we're talking about day one of the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse challenge. It's going on three days. Do you have the book? Get it from amazon.com US, 16.99, 51% off right there. Or try to find it in a local bookstore or Barnes and Noble or something. Or try to get the library, but the waiting list in libraries I hear is like, it takes time, so that might not be that beneficial right now while we're doing the cleanse. But get a hold of the book, page 179, the heavy metal detox cleanse is on here. Critical to have the details, the details matter, the information's right here. We're doing this cleanse. We just talked about the wild blueberries. Now we're adding the bananas. Let's move on to something else. Cilantro. Let's get cilantro in there. Now, even if you don't like cilantro, but you, you, you'll, you'll put a little in, that's okay. Put a little in then. If that's what you, if that's all you can do, right? Put a little bit in there. Can you blend the papaya with the seeds? I wouldn't, no way, no way. The seeds are edible. I've been teaching that for years since I was a child. The seeds are edible, but you don't want the seeds in the smoothie, okay? If you wanna eat a couple of teaspoons of the seeds while you're eating the papaya, right? You can always do that, but they're spicy and they're gritty. Very gritty. You don't want them in here. There's no need to have them in here. So we're putting some cilantro in here. Let's do that. I like putting a lot of cilantro. I like having a cup of cilantro, right? You can do less if you want. You can do a little bit more if you want. Cilantro works really well in removing toxic heavy metals when it's got the other four players involved. That's critical to know. You want the cilantro fresh and raw because it's got the living water inside of it. If you don't like the taste of cilantro, that means you're high in toxic heavy metals. All these tips are really important. Got the cilantro in there. Now we're doing bananas, so we don't need to crack open the, the mango. I could maybe cut it open in a little while, but we don't have to do that right now. So let's move on a little bit. What about cilantro tincture? Marcy, nope. It won't do the same thing. Not even close. It won't be enough. It won't be enough with one dropper full. You'd have to use the whole bottle and that's not gonna work and be enough. So cilantro tincture is not the way to go. I mean, it's real. listen, if you don't have the cilantro and you can't get the cilantro, keep it out of the smoothie. I'd rather have you keep that out of the smoothie. I'd rather have you not do the cilantro tincture. Okay? Then meaning like, I'd rather have you just not do any cilantro at all if you're gonna use the tincture is what I mean. So yeah, so um, try not to do that. So we got the cilantro in here. Let's move on to a little bit more. Let's get into the barley grass juice powder now. Huge mistake. Barley grass is not barley grass juice powder, you guys. Barley grass is not barley grass juice powder. Huge mistake made. You can't get the full benefits, right? So this is the Vimergy barley grass cheese powder right here. You can get it at Vimergy.com. These are Victor I, M is in Mary, E-R-G-Y.com. I'm not sponsored, but it's the stuff I use and it's incredible. 
There's a lot of a lot of incredible reasons why it's good, right? This means it's been juiced. It's been juiced. This is the barley grass juice powder. It's the only way to make it work in the heavy metal cleanse. Important details, really. You know, let's put a teaspoon in there. It's fine. We got that. So what are the players we have in here right now? We got the wild blueberries, boom, right? The wild blueberry juice, the wild blueberry powder, right? We got the wild blueberry. We got that one, right? The kingpin, the wild blueberry, that's in here. Then we got the cilantro, that's another important one. Now we got the barley grass juice powder, that's another one in here. What's next? Spirulina, spirulina. Don't get this confused by the salespeople who are pushing chlorella. Don't get that confused. Don't be like, whoa, I hear about heavy metals. AW's talking about it. Let me go and check into, ooh, chlorella. Hey, chlorella's good. You know, don't get confused by all the admin, the thousands of them, and the chlorella trolls that are being paid by the th just thousands of them being paid by chlorella companies to try to get that stuff out there. Don't get thrown off the track. Chlorella is dangerous for a lot of people. How? It's caused them to throw their guts up for weeks at a time, hugging onto their toilet. It's not properly checked with bacteria. Chlorella harbors bacteria. It's a bacteria harborer. Not to mention, even in a perfect world, the best chlorella out there without bacteria will not get metals out of the brain. So important, chlorella is irresponsible. It drops metal even if it picked it up. Important to know, drops it. That means if chlorella is moving metal, it moves it into more tissue. It doesn't carry it with it all the way out of the body. Do not get confused with chlorella, which doesn't work, with spirulina, which does work. Very important to know, okay? And to answer a question I just saw, barley grass juice powder is gluten-free. Barley grass juice powder, at least the, let me, let me correct that, at least the Vimergy barley grass juice powder is gluten-free. I can't speak for any other barley grass juice powder companies, okay, or whatever, right? Frozen cilantro, another question. Frozen cilantro is okay, but use it right after, meaning use it right when you pull it out of that freezer. Don't let it defrost and turn into yuck muck. Don't let the cilantro come out of the freezer and defrost in a bag or on the counter and turn into yucky muck. It won't work. It can only work when you throw that stuff in there while it's still frozen. Frozen state, you throw it in there. That's important to know. All these details matter. Spirulina is critical for the heavy metal detox smoothie. It's another star in the smoothie it's another star in the heavy metal detox cleanse. If you're somebody that can only do a little bit, do a little bit. If you're someone that's, you know, that's someone that's sensitive, do a little bit. I mean, a lot of sensitive people do a lot, but if you're someone, you can just do a little bit of the smoothie, a little bit of this, a little bit of that in here, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit. You can, you can baby step it if you need to, right? And that's okay. You could do a quarter teaspoon instead of a teaspoon. So there's the spirulina. It's the best spirulina out there. It's the Vimergy spirulina by far, the best stuff on the market. I used to like the Pacific many years ago. So it's the only thing that was out there that was decent enough, but this supersedes it. Problem is Pacific Ocean, it's gotten real nasty. I wouldn't swim in there if someone paid me to. If someone said, hey, medical medium, go surfing in the Pacific Ocean. You know, we'll give you $10,000 every time you ride a wave in. I'll be like, no way am I letting that Pacific Ocean water touch me. It's so polluted at this point with dioxin and metals, it's out of control. So anyway, um, keep that in mind That's that I don't recommend Pacific spirulinas anymore. Not to mention, I found something in one of the Pacific spirulina companies, a uh, jar that I actually contacted the company to talk to and they blew me off and it was dangerous what I found in one of their jars. Bottom line. Anyway, spirulina right here. Got the Vimergy. So let's go. Let's keep on moving along. I'm not sponsored by Vimergy, but this stuff's amazing. All right. Juice from one orange. What orange? Here's a question that comes up all the time. Some people say, can I put the whole orange in there? Don't put the rind. Don't put the rind in there. 
Yes, you can put the orange inside in there. You don't have to just do the juice from one orange. I do the juice. I do, look, sometimes you guys, I'll do juice from two oranges. I like two oranges in there and the juice in there. Okay, you can do that. You can add a little bit more banana, a little bit more orange, a little bit more orange in my smoothie. You can do that, right? Okay, I'm squeezing this in just like this. Just juice from one orange going in my smoothie. Love a little extra vitamin C. I love a little extra calcium. Oranges are extremely alkaline inside the body, which is great to do when you're removing metals. Extremely alkaline, right? If you can't do orange juice, do a half a cup of water or coconut water. Half a cup of water or coconut water. If you guys just, if you guys just woke up and you got here, you turned on your computer and you are here with me now, you are at the Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse Challenge Day One. I'm pumped up. Reminding you right here, do you have the Cleanse the Heal book? Make sure you grab one as soon as you can. Important, make sure you have that. Page 179, Heavy Metal Detox Cleanse. We're doing the Cleanse Challenge right now. If your coconut water is pink, toss it. If your coconut water is red, toss it. Another scam in the world of health, all right? Everybody just gets totally jaked over. It's a major scam going on. Pink and red coconut water went bad, it's rancid. But the problem is, okay, coconut water companies lie and say it's good for you and it's the good stuff because if they don't lie and say that, then they're not gonna be able to sell as much coconut water because their coconut water's going bad. That's what that means when it's red and pink. That means the coconut water went rancid. That's what happens. So don't do the pink and red coconut water, important to know, okay? So let's see, amen, it's helped me with my Hashimoto's and I haven't done the full cleanse until now. Amazing. So we're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse, incredible on TikTok, I'm proud of you. So we just put the orange in there. You guys, what else? Am I missing something? I wanna see how tuned in you guys are. Am I missing something in here? Uh, let's see, I got the cilantro, I got the wild blueberry, I got the spirulina, I got the barley grass juice powder. Um, put the wild blueberry juice in there. Uh, what else? Uh, put the orange in there, I got the banana. What am I missing, you guys? Ashley Kiven, dolls. <laughs> At me, dolls. That's what it is. So we got some Atlantic dolls right here. You guys, I see dolls coming up everywhere. You guys are on it, seriously. You guys are on it. Cause I actually did forget for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are on it. Okay, so we got the dolls right here. Um, okay, here's something important to know. If you don't have the Atlantic dolls, you can still do the heavy metal detox cleanse without it. You can still do the heavy metal detox smoothie without it. It's a home run when you do it with it, but you got four out of the five, four out of the five without it. That's okay, that's okay. Four out of the five. Now, dulse helps to remove it on the way out, the intestinal tract, right, the intestinal tract, but you can still get the job done in a great way without it, but I like having it in it because it's the home run where you actually do get a little bit more out, a little bit more out. Pouring it out. So let's get a little dulce in here. It's just that a lot of people they have a hard time with dulce. They can't find it. Everything else, Atlantic dulce. Let's get some dulce in there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You guys, if you just got here, if you just arrived, we're making the heavy metal detox smoothie. We're doing the medical meme heavy metal de detox cleanse challenge. We're on day one. And I'm pumped, very pumped. Because you know why? Because I see something disappearing. I see something disappearing. I see, hey, I see anxiety in there disappearing. I see depression, y years worth of depression disappearing in here. What? I see bipolar disappearing. I see Tourette's, yeah, Tourette's disappearing. Lots of people got rid of the Tourette's with medical medium information. I see Parkinson's disappearing. Parkinson's, but yeah, lots of people heal their Parkinson's. 
I see AOS disappearing. Uh-huh. I do. I see memory problems, brain fog disappearing. I see a lot of things disappearing. Migraines disappearing. That's why I love this. I think we got it. Let's cap it. Let's cap it. Right? Let's send it through here. Hopefully this is plugged in, which I think it is. This right here. I'm excited. Here we go. Coming along right here. Elizabeth, legendary? It's a legendary smoothie. There's all kinds of imitators. Imitators trying to sell you charcoal and zeolite. Imitators trying to sell you bentonite clay and chlorella. Imitators trying to put their own blends together. Imitators that learned about toxic heavy metals because of medical medium books and information. And then they turn their back on the medical medium community and they try to make their own blend of something that's toxic and doesn't work. And that's what imitators do. So what this is here is an incredible smoothie right here. I'm very excited about this, okay? Very excited. How much dulse? Look, you got the option. A tablespoon is a great amount, but you can put two teaspoons, you can put a teaspoon. If you're joining in the cleanse, give a thumbs up. Hit, hit the like button, I don't know. Do a thumbs up, right? That'd be amazing, you guys, if you could. We got the smoothie right here. I'm pumped. Let's get a jar. And then we'll pour that smoothie right in here. Incredible. Boom. Amazing. Heavy metal detox smoothie part of the heavy metal detox cleanse, but we're not done. We're not done. We did the lemon water. We did the celery juice. We're doing the heavy metal detox smoothie. What's next? What's next? Page No says, is it still effective if after you make it, you put it in the freezer, then eat it in like ice cream? My daughter won't do smoothies. Perfect. Perfect, yes, effective. Popsicles, popsicles. So we got the smoothie right there. You guys, what's next? That's what I'd like to know. Something that's, and I'm gonna move this over. So what I'm gonna make, something a little different here, right? So I'm gonna do the apples next, okay? Apples are important in the heavy metal detox cleanse, right? But I'm gonna use my food processor for this one. You don't wanna do fats in the morning. You don't wanna do fats in the morning with the heavy metal detox cleanse. You don't want avocado, you don't want oils, you don't want nut butters, you don't want nuts. You don't want any of that in the morning. Because once you do radical fats like that, you just shut your cleanse down. You just shut it down. You're doing all that work, and the heavy metal detox smoothie only can take out a portion, a small portion of the metals when you're doing all that fat. Because if you're doing avocado with your smoothie, I'll do the heavy metal detox smoothie, but I'll throw a half an avocado in here too, because someone said healthy fats are good for me. Let me mix it in here. Boom, you just blew it. Blew it. You can't get the metals out. You gotta keep the oils out of the cleanse. You gotta keep the fats out of the cleanse. You can't put those in. You can't, no MCT oil. No way, no coconut oil. You put that in, cleanse over. Cleanse over, boom. What a waste, what a waste. 
You gotta have, fly in the wall I see over there on TikTok. <laughs> you gotta be a fat free morning with your cleanse. You can't fat yourself to death while you're doing the cleanse. You, got, you gotta wait, you gotta do the fats. If you're into fats, you gotta do them later on. They gotta be later on during the day. You gotta do, you gotta keep them later on. If you're an animal protein, then you do your animal protein at night at the end of the day. You can't do it in your morning. You can't do bacon while you're trying to do the heavy metal detox cleanse. You put bacon in there, it's over. Game over. You just ruined your cleanse. Can get the metals out. So we're doing apples now. That's what we're doing now. Apples. So I got some beautiful apples right here. Let me cut off the stickers, right? Cutting the stickers off real quick. Two apples before noon would be great. If you can do two, one apple before noon, can you do one apple before noon? That's great. Half an apple, I'm okay if you do a half an apple. But the pulp of the apple, the pulp, the pectin of the apple, helps to carry out some of the metals that got excreted out of your liver. Let's head there now. We're in the heavy metal detox cleanse. We're day one, you guys. This is really important information. Have your notepad ready. Do you have your cleanse to heal book around too? Keep it around. Page 179 is the cleanse. Make sure you order the book when you can. Okay, let's go. Let's talk about this for a couple of minutes. Right? That's your liver right there. Okay? Your liver produces bile. You're doing the heavy metal detox cleanse. Your spirulina, your wild blueberries, your cilantro, your barley grass juice powder, everything, your celery juice, all of it is working on getting those toxic heavy metals out of you to free you up. Free you up of conditions and symptoms, right? When all that enters into the liver, it starts to loosen up the metals and grabs onto the metals. And when it grabs onto the metals, the bile spews up the pike and goes into the intestinal tract. That bile has toxic heavy metal in it. Keep that in mind. That bile has toxic heavy metal in it. So, and, and the smoothie that you're doing in the heavy metal detox cleanse is already circulating throughout the entire body, including the brain, taking metals out of the brain, right? But the liver is gonna volcano, volcano that metal out into the bile. The bile is gonna drop back into the intestinal tract, right, you guys? And then the apples help to carry it out. The pectin, the pulp, of the apple helps to bind onto that bile that's contaminated with toxic heavy metal and pull it out of your body. Do you see how important this is? See how details matter? So important, right? So important, okay? So keep that, keep that in mind right there. Here's something to, to, to note. Make sure you write this down, you guys, if you can. No coconut milk, no coconut oil inside your smoothie. You can't put a fat inside the smoothie. You put avocado, coconut, coconut milk, coconut oil, MCT oil, any kind of thing that's out there. You put whatever, olive oil, anything in that smoothie, almonds in that smoothie, walnuts in that smoothie, seeds in that smoothie, you just ruined it. Oat milk, you just ruined it. Almond milk, you just ruined it. Boom. You ruined your whole your cleanse in your smoothie, letting you know. Keep that in mind. Question, what brand for barley grass? The only one I trust and the best one that works the best is the Vimergy. V is in Victor, I, M is in Mary, E, R, G, dot com. It's barley grass juice powder. It's the best company. I'm not sponsored, but it's the best stuff right there. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the liver and the why the apples are so important. How come the apples are so important, you guys? So let's do this. I like making an applesauce for, for me, for... For the cleanse, right? A quick applesauce, just apples though, right? For this, that's what I like to do. So I take the apples, I'm cutting them up right here, right? So I like doing this during the heavy metal detox cleanse. For me, you guys can just eat the apple if you want, don't worry. You can eat the apple if you want. If that's what you wanna do, that's fine. You can totally do that, right? I toss the core, you know, I don't wanna grind up the core. So I toss the core if there's any questions there, right? 
You can do a half an apple. You can eat a half an apple. You can eat a quarter of an apple. You can do that. If you can't do the apple, if you're somebody that's allergic to an apple, if you're somebody that doesn't like an apple, if you're somebody that just can't do an apple or you can't find an apple, realize that your Atlantic dulse is part of getting the metals out of that, that bile out of the intestinal tract too. You don't have the Atlantic dulse, right? Then you're still, you're still doing the frozen wild blueberry, which helps to get it out of the intestinal tract. You're still doing the spirulina, which also helps to get it out, right? So let's bring this over. I know on TikTok, you guys don't see a lot when it's, when it's set up like this, but let's, so let's bring this over here. So what I'm gonna do is make a quick applesauce is what I'm doing. So I'm chopping up two apples. I'm gonna have an applesauce before lunch. That's what I'm gonna do, you guys. I'm excited, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if it all works out. Remember, we're live. All kinds of disasters happen when we're live. Yep, what's going on? There we go. Averted disaster. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's do a little pulse action here. Anybody who just got on here, I advise you to watch this from the beginning to the end. Watch it on YouTube or, or if Facebook allows us to see it because I'm censored there a lot. Watch it on Facebook and do that too. So I'm making an applesauce. This is a fresh living applesauce right here. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna eat this before 12 o'clock every day during the cleanse, right? You're not gonna see any nuts in here. No almond milk in here, nothing like that. Because if you do that, you're blowing the cleanse. You gotta be fat free before noon to get the metals out. If anybody's on here right now, stay tuned because I'm about to do um, a little display on where you get your toxic heavy metals, which I think is important because no, no one believes they got metals in them, by the way. A lot of people are like, I don't got metals, it's got anxiety. But I don't got metal, but they got anxiety, right? Just made myself an applesauce, right? Just get the blade out of here. So let me do that. Get the blade out. Okay. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way too. Right here. Get a little bowl. Okay, get a little bowl, get the applesauce. Got the living applesauce right there. What if you can't get it all in before 12? Can I stretch it out as long as I don't have the fats? Absolutely, Octop, Octop Corp, totally. You can totally do that. You can stretch it out as long as you want. You can make a big smoothie and stretch that baby out and just keep on going, going, going. Absolutely. And great question. Thank you for asking that question. It helps. Right? Apples used to make my gums hurt after several 369 cleanses. I love them. You're cleaning up. You're healing. You're cleaning up. You're healing your nerves. The 369 cleanse is healing your nerve. Like nerves throughout the whole body. So you can actually then not get hurt by something because your nerves are getting better. Right there, so this is the applesauce right there. So this is a fresh applesauce I just made. Okay, there you go. Free even better results, avoid troublemaker foods. Go into cleanse and heal, learn about the troublemaker foods. Better results, you can keep on going, going, going. The results are endless with the medical meme information. The details matter, all the information matters. You guys know. So let's talk about, I almost, almost lost my book. So let's talk about where you get your metals because a lot of people don't believe they have toxic heavy metals, right? So anytime you've ever touched this, eaten anything out of it, cooked on anything on the grill, been in a restaurant, done any kind of takeout, you've got an aluminum in you and lots of it. Aluminum is also in pharmaceuticals, antibiotics, antidepressants, cold medicine, load it with aluminum. That's just to name a few, right? You guys love tuna, right? Why well, don't eat tuna out of a can? 
I eat sushi, I do it so much more healthier. Well, it's all mercury, 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 right? How many times, can you say it three times in a row really quick? Mercury, 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 right, mercury. There you go. So, sushi, boom, how many people are eating sushi? Copper. You guys, there was a question, by the way, there was a question yesterday that said, well, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, why not 24 karat gold? Because 24 karat gold breaks. It breaks. It's not strong enough. It's too soft. That's why 24 karat gold jewelry, I mean, you just you lose it. You're on the beach and boom, there goes your earrings, gone. You hit one wave and boom, there goes your necklace, gone. You know? You're on your paddleboard, boom, you just lost your gold chain. If it's 24 karat, it just falls apart. So that's why. So 18 karat is the way to go. 14 karat if you can, that's fine too. But copper, copper pipes, copper's passed on in utero. Okay, mommy and daddy passed copper on, sperm and egg. Copper's in our system. Anybody who has eczema has copper in their liver, lots of it. Anybody that got psoriasis has copper in the liver, lots of it. Copper, right, the whole bit. A whole bit. Plastics don't cause the same problems as metals, just so you guys know. They come out easy. Spirulina alone with wild blueberry juice. Wild blueberry juice and spirulina can knock all plastics out, literally. Plastics aren't a problem. They're really not that big of a problem if you're doing something about it. They just, you just get rid of them. Copper IUD, copper IUD, absolutely copper IUD. A lot of women with the copper IUDs all get eczema psoriasis later on. Yep, copper. If I had a copper IUD in me, okay, um, I would take it out. But I know that a lot of women, they can't. Their, their, their husbands demand that they have it. Like I, I've run into that so many times where they have no choice. Um, they, 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 they literally have no choice. But I get it. If you don't have a choice, then, then just work on doing the cleanse. So you can, because it's, it's, we can't avoid copper all the time. We can't avoid metals all the time. Stay away from copper mugs. Stay away from copper jewelry. Stay away from copper. Copper mugs, copper thermoses. You're being poisoned by a bad trend. A bad trend. Okay? You guys need to know that. Do not get fooled by all the marketing for bad trends. Copper thermoses, copper mugs, copper all, terrible. You guys are just getting copper poisoning. Just give me a rundown where your copper is, okay? Metals, copper clothing's not good either. Pots and pans in restaurants. You guys, pans and pots are scraped to death in restaurants. Divots are in them, scraped to death. Audrey says, holy shit, I had an IUD when younger and now live with psoriasis. Absolutely. Only medical medium information knows that though. Only medical medium information knows that metals cause psoriasis and only medical medium information knows that copper is the specific one that causes psoriasis and MM Info only knows that that can happen. Um, so yeah. And if you've heard that from somewhere else, it was taken from here by copycats without citing back to where info is so people can heal. Okay, back to this, you guys. People scrape those pots and pans in restaurants. Restaurant food, so loaded with metal. Tap water in the restaurants, oh my God. Loaded, coffee shops, loaded with metal. Uh, food from all kinds of restaurants, loaded with metal, right? It, but, but, but I'm not saying don't live your life. I'm just saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you getting the metals out? Are you doing the heavy metal detox cleanse challenge? It's free, we're doing it for three days. Do you have the book? Order the book instead of saying, someday I'll get the book. Someday I'll heal. Someday I'll get metals out. Someday I'll get my anxiety better. Someday I'll uh, take care of myself so I don't pass metals down to my children and sperm and egg. Someday I'll get the book. Why not? I don't know. I don't want to get the book. I heard the book is bad from somebody who hates Anthony Williams. So I don't know if I should get the book, even though it's healed millions of people. So get the book if you can. 51% off Amazon.com US. So look, I have I have different things that, you know, I have housewares and stuff like that, like cooking wear and all of that at medicalmediumdirectory.com if you're interested. Okay. Dental work. I'm not just talking about mercury amalgam fillings. I'm talking about dental work. I'm talking about fluoride treatments. Everybody's saturated with aluminum in their system. Fluoride treatments. Even composites that aren't mercury or metal based have metal in them. 
copper too. They have copper in there, right? Insect killer. Every single dorm room in every single college and university around the world is sprayed before the, before the kids enter the dorm room. It's sprayed. Every single year, every single dorm room, dorm room is treated with some of the most deadly insect killers, insecticides. So then when you're a college student, you live in your dorm room, you're living in a box loaded with pesticides and insecticides. That's why a lot of, a lot of, um, um, a lot of college kids lose their hair while they're, while they're going through. They're, they gain weight. Their liver gets filled up with all that insecticide poison. The universities and the colleges are the, one of the number one ways insecticides get into every single person. You guys have no idea. No idea. So that's the insecticides right there. It's just one thing. Perfumes, colognes. Let's get some colognes and perfumes. Let's get some colognes and perfumes. P -p -p smells nice. Smells nice. Smells terrible. <laughs> it's loaded with toxic heavy metals too. Important note. Scented candles. Toxic heavy metals. Scented candles. Air fresheners and scented candles. Toxic heavy metals. Big time. You breathe in a scented candle, boom. Toxic heavy metals. Boom. Toxic heavy metals. Pharmaceuticals. Toxic heavy metals. Antibiotics, antidepressants. So talk about that. Thyroid medication, all of it. Toxic heavy metals. You get it everywhere, you guys. Fish oil. Fish oil. Toxic heavy metals. In the fish oil capsules. That's right. Fish oil. Toxic heavy metals. Mercury, methyl mercury going to your brain. That will give you Alzheimer's. Years of taking fish oil will ensure someone when they're in their 50s and in 60s will rush some serious Alzheimer's and dementia. Boom. And some depression in somebody who's younger. Absolutely. What else do I have here? Soda. Soda. Sipping off that aluminum right here and the liners. And I hope no one says, oh, but there's liners in there. Oh, really? Because when that can constricts from being cold in the fridge, the liner breaks. When that can expands because it's metal, because you hold it in your hand and it's warming up at a cookout, the liner expands and liner breaks. There's, there's not even liner in half the, the aluminum cans out there. You don't know what brand has a liner or not. Most of them don't. No, oh, just sip off of it too. Okay, pencils. I love when someone tries to stick it to the MM on the pencil thing. There's no lead medical medium in pencils. So you're just wrong. No, but I've seen too many people bite the cap, which is aluminum. Bite the cap. Chew all that cap right there until all the teeth marks are in that cap. How many people did that? Oh my God, probably more than half the population bit the hell out of the cap and got shavings of aluminum in them. Yeah. Ashley Kiven says, always a biter. <laughs> Health of Lizard, you were biter too. You like bite. You never bite the pencils and pens, right? I know so many people that bite the pencils and pens. Everybody does. It's crazy, right? So Ashley says she's a biter. She bites the pencils, right? Lorraine L, did you ever bite the pencils? I've had so many friends that bit the pencils. I see them bite the end of the aluminum. I'd be telling them, well, you're getting all the aluminum in you. It's incredible. So that's one thing right there. And then, whoa. Do you guys ever have a cup of coffee out in your favorite restaurant, coffee shop, coffee chain? Yeah, that's right. I see people every day when I'm on the road, I see people going into the coffee chain, the famous one, the famous coffee chain. I see them going into, you know, the most popular famous coffee chain, right? Elizabeth says, I may have a few times. Don't think so. <laughs> it always gross me out. That's actually really funny. <laughs> and then... You get your coffee and your soups in these chains, right? Well, that water's loaded with toxic heavy metals. That's tap water straight out from the city, piped in, not monitored, and loaded with toxic heavy metals. You get your coffee out, you got your metals. Let's recap. Do you have the medical medium information? Do you have the details? Heavy metal detox cleanse, page 179. Critical to have you guys. I'm not just trying to push a book. It costs more to print this book out to what it's selling right now on amazon.com US. So think about that. So where's the money in that? It's priced at 
There is no money. It's priced at $16.99, Amazon.com US. It's 51% off. Learn how to heal. The heavy metal detox cleanse is in here. So boiling the water makes no difference. Boiling the water doesn't get rid of toxic heavy metals. It just makes the toxic heavy metals hot. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to this. We're getting distracted, you guys. Okay. We're talking about the heavy metal detox cleanse challenge. Let's move into it. Lemon water, 16 to 32 ounces. Empty stomach. Boom. We got that, right? After that, wait 15 to 30 minutes. You got your celery juice, 16 to 32 ounces. Empty stomach. Boom. Got the celery juice, right? Then you're working on making the heavy metal detox smoothie. You got your spirulina. That's the Vimergy spirulina. You got the Vimergy barley grass juice powder. You got the, the, um, the Vimergy wild blueberry powder. You got the Wyman's wild blueberry juice. These are options in the wild blueberry world, right? By the way, um, you guys, I know a lot of you guys drink the wild blueberry juice from Wyman's. Uh, they got a big stock back in. So have a stock back in. I know that so many were having problems with getting the juice. The stock is back in at Wyman's. It's if you buy it by the case, it, you get 13% off each bottle when you, more, 13% more off each bottle if you buy it by the case. So right there, shop.wyman's.com. I'm pumped. You guys know I'm working with Wyman's to make sure this stuff stays out there because it's one of those lifesavers. It's incredible. So let's see what else, okay? Now here's an option for you guys. Here's an option that brings me to this. All right, here's some coconut water right here. So I got coconut water in this glass, okay? Now, here's what I do if I can't get a smoothie together. If I can't do a heavy metal detox smoothie for some reason, I'm traveling, I'm having a hard time, or anything like that, right? I can't, or I don't have bananas, I don't have all the things I need, I don't have cilantro, then I try to get three out of five. Three out of five is what I try to do. That means three. What's one? Spirulina. That's one of the five that takes the metals out together, right? One teaspoon, boom. Barley grass juice powder. One of the three out of the five. So that's the Vimergy barley grass juice powder, right? Teaspoon of that in there, okay, okay. I do the Wyman's Wild Blueberry Juice. I do two ounces in there. Boom, incredible. Three out of the five, or the powder. It's the Vimergy powder right there. Or the powder, right? Wild Blueberry powder. Three out of the five. This is important, okay? Mix it. If I can't do the full smoothie, I got the coconut water version right there and the three out of the five, right? Sure, it would be ideal to have the cilantro, but try to get the cilantro in your diet later on during the day or maybe later on if you're not doing all the fats yet. You're not doing those fats and try to get a little dulse in there maybe later on during the day if you're not doing all the fats. Then you get the five out of the five during that day, right? If you're keeping the fats away, you can do three out of the five Add the cilantro later, TikTok. Add the dulse later. How bitchin' is that? It's really cool. Really cool. A friend of mine uses that term all the time. So I talked to them for an hour on the phone the other day and he said that term like three times. I was like, hey, that's actually really funny. So this is awesome, you guys. This is an option right here. This is a really cool, cool option. Um, Okay, so let's go back to everything. We got the applesauce later on before noon, but if you stretch out your heavy metal detox cleanse throughout the day and you're not doing fats, you can do the apples later. You can eat the apple. You can have a half an apple. You can make the applesauce. Ashley Kiffin, is that funny? <laughs> lemons, make sure you have your lemons, the lemon water in the morning. You got that. We're heading off to IG. We talked about metals. We talked about conditions and symptoms that metals create. We're going to IG in a little while. Just give me a couple of minutes to clean up, you guys, and we're going to have some fun. You don't want to miss the Instagram version. We're going to try to have a little bit more fun, hopefully. Incredible. Love you guys. I will see you. M Sky, good to see you. See you guys over on IG and TikTok. I'm going to turn you guys right back on on TikTok. I'm excited to do that. Clubhouse, I'll turn you guys back on too. All right, take care.